how much SQL is more than enough for any automation test engineer. So like in Java, there are so many topics getting used by different engineers in the industry, but not everything is required or need to learn by any automation test engineer. Similarly, in SQL also, we need not to learn everything getting used by database engineers or any developer, but there are few topics which we need to take care of and which we learn and use in day-to-day -day basis. So I am going to tell in this particular video what is different queries which we use in day-to-day -day life. So let's go inside. Hi, my name is Amit Pati and I have more than nine years of working experience in IT industry and automation testing. And in this video, I am going to tell you what are different queries which I have used in my nine years of career and what you should learn so that you know you are well versed with SQL which is required in automation testing. Okay, great. So let's start. So here uh, I have compiled all those topics which are required for any automation test engineers. So here, if you see, first of all, basic SQL keywords. So what are different basic SQL keywords which you must learn is, uh, you know, database related queries like creating database, uh, dropping database, and how will you use that particular or different databases. So we are going to use, uh, those are the basic SQL keywords which you should be aware of. Now, uh, you know, table queries, like, uh, you know, how you are going to create the table, drop the table, and if you have to make some alteration, then how are you going to make that? So related to that, so now there are a few other like basic keywords, how and when we use as between descending DESC over here, you know, ascending where we use primary keys, uh, foreign keys, what are primary keys and foreign keys, what is null, not null, and or not, top, so where we use top, where we use limit, distinct, so different operators are there, there are some wild cards, when we don't have exact name or exact value to be, you know, searched for, then we use wild cards. So number two, SQL logical operators. So there are a couple of, uh, you know, logical operators which we use day in, day out. Like is one of them and in is one of them, between is null, not null and or not. So these are all SQL logical operators which we should be aware of and how to use them, you should be aware of. Now moving forward, data retrieval queries. So in this uh, particular section, select queries are most prominent and these are the very, very useful and used queries. Now, second is data modification. Now, you know, uh, you have to modify the data also. So uh, like here, insert, update and delete are the statements for adding, modifying and removing uh, data table, uh, data from the tables. So if you wanted to insert any uh, you know record in the table then you should be using insert into customers something like this now next is data filtering queries once you you know uh, you wanted to get the records or rows based on the queries you had but you wanted to filter that also like uh, i don't want to fetch all the records uh, you know rather i want to filter them based on some criteria so for that we use two different things like where and like operator okay so where clause basically is used to filter data based on the specific conditions and like operator is for pattern matching in string fields now coming to the data sorting queries okay so in data sorting we have order by so you should be using order by clause once you wanted to you know order your uh, data based on any certain uh, column now data aggregation queries so what are those so in data aggregation basically we have some average count minimum and maximum functions for performing calculations on data sets okay now next is join queries okay so join queries are very important and in you know it is getting asked in interviews for sure so join queries uh, understanding you should be always have so what are different types of joins so joins basically means that if we wanted to fetch data from different tables or same 
within same table but different rows then we wanted to use we use this join queries over here what are different types of joins inner join is there left join right join full outer join and there is one more which is self join also if we wanted to you know uh, compare data between the rows in the same table so now next is sub queries so what are sub queries basically so sub queries are the queries within the queries okay so nested queries basically are called sub queries so here is an example of sub queries how we use here i have shown you only two sub queries uh, like uh, one is outer and one is inner inner likewise it can happen that you uh, you may encounter multiple queries inside so now next is aggregate functions what are aggregate functions so basically understanding how to use aggregate functions like group by and having for summarizing data so basically aggregate functions are used to summarize the data so for example so we have different different countries okay so for example we have india we have china we have nepal we have another country and in each of the country there are certain uh, number of customers are available so from this query what are we going to do we are summarizing data based on the country so for example we are uh, you know getting uh, let's suppose for india we have 10 customer ids so it is going to give me 10 and country india okay so it will count all the uh, customer ids based on the country so for uh, you know uh, maybe you know uh, china has 50 uh, customer ids india has 10 customer ids sri lanka has any other uh, customer id so based on the customer ids it is summarizing data now where we use having basically we use having where we wanted to put the condition so condition on after group by so for example if we wanted to you know get data for uh, let's suppose we wanted to get all those countries which have more than 10 customers okay so that's where we use having and we can put cust uh, count of customer id is greater than 10 then we will get whatever countries which are having more than 10 customer ids now last but not the least uh, this is stored procedure so what is stored procedure basically stored procedure are like methods in any programming language so if we wanted to perform many queries in one operation then we use stored procedure so in automation testing also or you know if we are interacting with different teams where you know they use stored procedures because they wanted to perform multiple queries in one single operation and that's where you know stored procedure is used and it is simply you know uh, called as stored proc sometime so uh, that short name uh, people use in it industry that was all in this particular video if you like the content please press like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and tell me in the comment box what different queries you have used and if i missed any queries which you are using in your day-to-day -day life as an automation test engineer do mention in the comment box and i have prepared one quiz which is very interactive and based on you know all my experiences and uh, if you wanted to practice sql queries which are getting used in automation testing and are very useful in interview preparation do check out in the description i have provided the link see you in the next one